Quand il me prend dans ses bras, il me parle tout bas, je vois la vie en haut. It's day two of the Cannes Film Festival, and what I'm hearing from you is that however sumptuous this hotel room is, you think the vlog should get out of it and get onto the croisette itself. So that's what we're going to do. Before we do that though, let's have a look at the Martinez. Look at this glorious Art Deco stairwell. And here outside the Martinez, things are absolutely seething, teeming and broiling with the A-list of French superstars. I don't know if you can see all this. They're coming. Look at this. This is exciting. Okay, so it feels good to be out here on the croisette with the festivalier. I think I couldn't really stay very long in the Martinez foyer filming semi-famous people because uh, they get a bit cross with you if you do that often enough. So anyway, I'm out here on the streets, uh, engaging with the street reality of Cannes. I've seen two very interesting films today. The first one was Les Miserables by Laj Lee, which is a, a development of his earlier short film about a three-man street crime unit, a kind of trio of bad lieutenants uh, or a sort of three-man kind of French training day thing going on as two of them break in their newbie on the streets, the tough banlieue of eastern Paris in Montfermeil. I thought it was really interesting in the first pre-violent bit of the film when nothing very violent was happening, when it was just all about ambient cop procedural. But when it all kicks off and it all turns into a riot, I think it paradoxically gets less interesting. But there you go. A lot of people here think it's absolutely brilliant. I'm not quite so sure. The second film is Bacurao by Kleber Mendonce Filho. And that is an absolutely bizarre, weird and wonderful film. I, I think I'm convinced it's a satire of the uh, far-right leader Juan Bolsonaro. In fact, I don't think it can be understood in any terms other than those. Uh, and it is ultra-violent, ultra-freaky, and kind of ultra-horrible in a way. But it is very, very, very piercingly unforgettable. And I kind of, and I'm thinking about it even now, and you know, it's been over for hours. So that could be a real contender for an award. <laughs>